So NTFS system files will remain hidden. So these files uh, that we examine, like boot and MFT, remain hidden from the user. Uh, so they, of course, describe specific uh, functionality of the system. Uh, the MFT will always contain at least 16 records reserved initially. And uh, the system file are records 0 through 11, and uh, some of them are also reserved for future use. So each um, MFT record, master file table record, um, is made up of the header and a list of attributes. And so basically there is a MFT entry or MFT uh, record header, which is 42 byte sized header, uh, describing the sequence of attributes present. And uh, each attribute has a little header and then the attribute information itself. And the series of these attributes uh, each ha has its own specific size and there may be some unused space. All right, so I'm not going to go through any of the details of MFT entry format because we will have a chance to um, examine uh, individual uh, MFT entries uh, in our future laboratory exercises. So the attributes that are present inside the master file table, um, that's the general idea that uh, we have these uh, attribute headers and the attribute uh, contents or data stream and uh, some of the uh, attributes uh, are uh, qualified as resident because they continue to stay entirely within the uh, the record but if they require any additional clusters anywhere else uh, they become uh, non-resident attributes and of course that should signal us immediately where to look for specific data if you are working at this very low level of uh, attributes on the system. Uh, by the way, as we are speaking about things visible and uh, the details that are available in forensic software, I also have uh, my um, autopsy case open for this same image. And as I navigate to NTFS, and you can see that uh, I can uh, I can view uh, these system files uh, uh, in my detail listing uh, of my root uh, root. Uh, uh, but uh, notice that uh, because um, uh, the NSRL uh, hash. Uh, a list of well-known system files is uh, loaded. Uh, the message that I'm getting is that this file is a known file uh, based on MD5 hash and does not have an index text. Uh, so basically what it tells me that uh, I still can get to the metadata but uh, of course these files will be excluded from processing when you're doing your searches and other operations that require access to these files. So just be aware of it that a lot of system information that is naturally present on the drive may actually be excluded for a good reason uh, uh, in uh, forensic tools based on hash sets configuration. And so these are the attributes, attribute types uh, that are commonly used um, inside uh, uh, MFT uh, records. Uh, but uh, for now, we can just uh, talk briefly about the typical attributes uh, which are most commonly used in forensic investigations. So let's find a file that we can look at as an example. For instance, there are some documents and settings right here. So I can see uh, uh, users and uh, so we have a user named Clyde and under uh, my documents we have uh, pictures. And so we can click on a picture um, and uh, here we have our um, uh, convenient uh, uh, property panel which will allow us to examine uh, some of these attributes uh, as they are present here. So of course um, uh, when you select a specific object here like this file uh, we are displaying a file name. Of course this comes from uh, 
master file table record and uh, uh, the uh, file name attribute. Um, and uh, we also have information about that it, it's a regular file, its size and physical uh, size on disk. Uh, of course, the uh, location of the starting uh, cluster, which will be coming from this attribute, from the data attribute. Uh, okay, so uh, the dates um, are also coming from uh, standard uh, information uh, attribute. So access created, modified, we typically extract from the uh, standard uh, information attribute um, uh, right here. We also have indication where, whether the file is encrypted, compressed. Uh, so we have its uh, physical starting sector. Uh, um, disk operating system, the standard uh, DOS attributes, hidden system, read-only, and archive are present here. We also have the MFT record number, of course, available uh, for the file. Um, and uh, uh, sure enough, we have the um, secure IDs present uh, mm, to uh, sp specify which users have uh, what kind of permission uh, to access or modify this file. And uh, the important uh, uh, here is that all of this information is coming from uh, a master file table record and uh, a specific combination of attributes uh, present uh, there. A directory entry uh, will uh, normally have uh, the attributes name, standard information, file name, and index, uh, index root and index allocation. So every MFT entry, uh, whether it's being file or directory, must have at least uh, standard information and the file name. Of course, uh, standard information, again, showing us uh, the date uh, and time access created and modified, and file name specifies the name of the object that we're looking at. So then, um, um, if the file is empty, then it still will have the data attribute present, but of course its size will be zero. And uh, uh, the um, empty directory will also have uh, basically empty uh, index attributes uh, present uh, in there. So if I look at, uh, uh, for instance, uh, my pictures uh, uh, directory, uh, you can see that uh, we have uh, this information uh, also available about this directory, and there is some information that's coming from the index uh, uh, entries um, in the MFT record. So that's obviously, um, essentially, we've got almost the entire sp specification of what information is present in our index uh, attributes. And uh, if I increase the size of this display, I believe that we can see more information about the actual um, yeah so this is what's coming from the master file table but apparently um, this directory has extent uh, on in other clusters so that's that's where non-resident index information is coming from so we will have a chance to examine uh, some of these structures in uh, greater detail as we move through our laboratory exercises in the future.